Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. My name is Gabby and today we're going to talk about adding a screen to your project. This is a screen that you can add to your streamer or DAC that you are building and it's going to add a little bit of life, a little bit something more interesting to look at. I'm also going to give you a little glimpse of a new streamer or DAC I'm building. <laughs> It's a platform where you can put all your Ian Canada parts and other parts on it and make a nice uh, streamer or DAC. I'm calling it the D6 and I usually give them some name but it's basically based on Ian Canada's parts. Let's start with the screen first. Uh, finding a good screen is not easy, especially in 5 inch format. I've bought many sitting in my drawer and they all have one issue or another. Uh, this one works really good. And uh, what's so special about this one? It's a DSi screen. It is not an HDMI screen and it's also an IPS panel. And uh, this is a screen from Elecro. I will put a link for it in the description below. And if you are worried about noise from the screen and also the monitor screen, and it will bring us to the project that I'm working on, the D6 platform that I've made here. And uh, this is probably the most shielded for an open project. On my D11 it was shielded a lot, but it was a closed project in the box. This is open, so you have to find creative ways to do some shielding. And so this has about five different shields. Uh, so you have a shield on the Raspberry Pi, which is just a natural shield, comes with it basically, but you're actually grounding the, all the uh, negative uh, pole of the Pi. And uh, then you have a shield on top of the Raspberry Pi. And then we have a shield on the clocks themselves with some dampening as well and some uh, also provide some thermal insulation. We also have a shield behind the monitor Pi because it's close to the FIFO Pi. And we have a shield behind the screen as well. All these are connected to ground. Now watch when I connect the ground wire, watch the noise before and after. It's astonishing. I'm going to show you the effect of grounding of all these four crazy grounding that I've been doing. This is with ground, no ground, with ground, no ground. It's huge, but don't let that scare you. I'm amplifying this noise like probably a thousand times with this device. So. Uh, this noise may not even go into your system. It might not even, uh, if you check the output of the uh, DAC, it may not be there. Uh, but uh, still, do we really want that noise hovering around our system? I mean, we're trying to get to your perfection and this is not perfection. This is. Finding a good screen is not easy, especially in 5 inch format. It's a DSi screen. It is not an HDMI screen and it's also an IPS panel. Uh, what's DSi? Basically it's the interface that's on the Raspberry Pi so you can run a cable from that to your screen and that's all you need. You don't need any power cables or anything. It gets its power from the Raspberry Pi and it's basically functions without any additional drivers or anything else. Uh, the IPS screen itself is the quality of the panel. Uh, IPS panels are known for their better quality. You can see them from extreme angles and uh, they also work very well. They're more vivid. The quality of the picture is, is really good versus the uh, screens you get usually generic ones they have. Uh, the screens are not that great. The angles, if you look from one angle or the other, you hardly see anything. Uh, this has a built-in brightness uh, button as well. You can adjust the brightness to the level you want. You can also turn it off if you like uh, from the same button. So it's actually, it's, it, it's simple, but it works. And I find five inches about the sweet spot. Uh, for a screen. This one is running on Rune, uh, Rupee, 
and uh, I know I'll tell you uh, exactly how to set this up. To set up your screen, first connect the ribbon cable between the screen and your Raspberry Pi and reboot the screen. Once you do that, go into the uh, Rupee software. To do that, you need to uh, go into your browser and put the IP address. If you don't know the IP address under Rune Audio, you'll be able to see your zone and get the IP address from there. Once into your Rupee software under display, the display now should show up before it will not show up till you connect your screen. Once you see display, then under orientation, make sure it's default and the Rune control zone has to be exactly word per word uh, like your zone. And then reboot your Raspberry Pi one more time. Uh, you will have to go under audio sometimes in the room under audio and uh, enable your zone and also you need to go under extension and make sure your screen is enabled and your zone is enabled as well. If you have any issues try also checking out the Rune site and they do have a PDF file I'll put a link for it below on installation for beginners and check out those two pages they talk a little bit about screen display. Uh, keep in mind that Rune does not support displays that are not made by Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi they do not make a 5 inch screen they only make a 7 inch screen so there are no official 5 inch screens so this particular screen I know for sure it works and I've tested it and I've tested a whole bunch of other screens that did not work if you want to make sure you have the least amount of headaches stick to the screen and I think you'll be fine. I've heard that actually works with Mood and Volumio, but I don't have any experience in that subject. If someone knows more and have links that leads to installing it, uh, please let us know. So you can move from one song to the other. So you can go forward, you can press play, pause, back, forward again, so the screen is simple to navigate and uh, especially with the Rune software it's really easy to set up. It's uh, not hard at all. This is a screen from an angle. You can see that it's still uh, working fine. And this is from a more extreme angle. You can see that the screen is still very clear uh, from this angle as well. So I got these uh, cutting boards. I just finished sanding this piece of bamboo. I cut it from the other cutting board and made sure it matches the screen. And I wanted to make it a funky old vintage style kind of TV looking thing. So that's the whole idea behind it. And uh, so that's gonna go here. You can use wood instead of bamboo. I also cut a small piece of copper from a little sheet that I've had for many years. But you could use any type of metal, doesn't really have to be copper. Uh, it will work and it's the same size as the, uh, as the back of the screen pretty much. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, as long as you ground it, put a grounding wire attached to it. So basically this is going to be the, the front of the, uh, the screen. The screen will go behind it from back here. And on top of it, there will be, will be the uh, grounded shield. So as you can see here, I glued four pieces of wood all around it to basically help encase it in the right place. And uh, then it'll basically go in snug. And then this is going to be the shield on top. And it goes, I did all the four screws and the two bottom screws here. It's going to help hold the screen to the base unit. Just drilling the hole for the screen post. There we go. This is our screen. It's going to be here. So when you are ordering the screen, make sure you get the IPS version because this is the high quality screen that's going to be viewable from different angles. Also, this is called a DSI because it's got a DSI cable here. It's a different than the one you plug in through an HDMI and you want to avoid those as well. Uh, I would stick to the screen if you can because at least you know it's going to work. The ribbon cable is all you need to plug in into this screen. You just insert it and you just push the two little tabs like that. So there is no configuration, nothing it automatically configures itself. 
Now that's the only thing, there's no need for power. It takes its power from the Raspberry Pi. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, mount the screen. So it's got four screws and uh, already have one attached there. So it's gonna mount to the plate. And here it is, so it should be, voila. Cool, eh? And you can adjust it. Still have to, uh, there's quite the mechanism in the back. I still haven't mounted the last. I gotta put a screw here to hold it. But that's gonna decide how high you can, so you can go up and down. You can go up and down there. You can also adjust the angle this way. You can even rotate. So it's got multiple uh, angulation. I use some old Meccano stuff that I had laying around. So, but you can really, it doesn't even have to be articulating, but I just, so it might as well, but it could be fixed as well. And now that I have decided with the height that I want it to be at, I'm just going to put a little screw here. Just you may have noticed I did not run a ground to the uh, shield on the uh, screen. And you would wonder why. If you look at the ground here and here, they are actually connected together via the flex cable here. Just happened that the ground from the RPI goes to the ground of those the holders that uh, the brackets that hold the screen and that's connected to the shield and that's basically how it's shielded so uh, so this is crazy shielding you might think because I literally went crazy here so we have a basically shield on the RPI shield on the clock we have a shield on the on the little monitor pie here and we have a shield on the uh, on the screen and a shield on the Raspberry Pi. So we have five shields. So we have four of them connect here and the first one from here via the flex cable. So, so that's how you get effective shielding if you're making an open concept like this. I am going to make another video just solely on the, uh, the D6 platform here. Uh, the reason I like this because this is a really simple uh, platform because it's just a couple pieces of wood that most people could possibly be able to manage to make and the rest is pretty much you're stacking parts on top of each other so it's really simple to make and at the end you get product that's pretty much complete and it's kind of appealing to the eye and it looks beautiful and you'll enjoy it uh, there's a lot in there. there's a lot of shielding as I mentioned earlier I'm gonna go through all that and tell you how to put all that stuff together how to build it together but I'm gonna make a separate video about this platform I hope you liked the video about the screen and how to set it up and all that stuff and uh, if you like this uh, video please give it uh, some thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed our channel consider joining us would love to have you uh, if you want to know more about Rune and stuff like that, I have a, a whole video about how to set it up. I'll put a link for it in the corner here uh, for you. And if you want to know how to build other streamers, I'll put a link in this corner as well. Take care and I hope to see you again.